Thanks for watching. Indeed, coming to you from the comfort of our own homes and into yours. The Championship Dart Circuit is proud to present the CDC Championship League Canadian Division Premier Match of the Week, presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. Hello again, everyone. I'm Colin Cosell, and I thank you so much for joining us. Hard to believe it, but we only have four more regular season streaming matches left until playoffs. My goodness, how time flies and how the drama is starting to intensify. Just last night, we saw the great Joe Cheney get eliminated from playoff contention, and the same could happen tonight for Kerry Way and Sean Brenneman if Kylie Edmund wins. And, oh my goodness, it just so happens that Brenneman and Edmonds are playing tonight, but I'll have a little bit more on them in just a moment. Let's take a look ahead. Next week, the pivotal week six, as we return to the Magic Darts Incorporated streams, a possible Canadian Division Championship preview, as Jim Long and Matt Campbell do battle, followed by Pulio and Lauby possibly vying for that final spot in the U.S. Division. Nick Lindbergh and Larry Butler, Butler looking to keep his hopes alive. That hell, it hangs in the, the throes of the May 13th match, and then on May 20th, Kiefer Durham and Jim Long. So that's what we have to look forward to. In the meantime, let's take a look at these standings starting in Canada. Woo, things are starting to heat up. Things are actually starting to come into focus over in Canada. Jim Long, Matt Campbell taking the number one and two spots uh, with Kiefer Durham tied with Campbell. Kylie Edmonds sitting in fourth right now, kind of in control of his own destiny. Of course, Gary Mawson, uh, rather, I'm sorry, uh, Jim Long, Matt Campbell, uh, they're both win one and in. Kylie Edmonds win out and he's in. Kiefer Durham win one and in. Ross Snook and Kerry Way not looking so good. Same thing for Sean Brenneman. It is pretty much do or die for them. Now let's take a look at the United States standings. All of these are updated as of last night. Gary Mawson has accidentally aforementioned. Uh, he is winning in. Jeremiah Millar and Nick Lindbergh tied with him as well. Chuck Puglio with a win last night. Suddenly catapults into fourth place. Danny Lauby needs a huge win. Oh, my goodness. It is getting crazy. Larry Butler basically holding on to a thread of hope. He needs to win out and, uh, you know, just basically uh, hope for some help. And Joe Chaney was eliminated last night. Very unfortunate for the chainsaw because who doesn't love Joe Chaney? He's one of my favorites. Now, moving on to the current matchup tonight. So much is on the line for Sean Brenneman and Kylie. So let's get reacquainted with them. Sean Brenneman, 46 years old, from uh, Alvinston, Ontario, Canada, is the 27th ranking two-year order of merit. And Kylie Edmonds at 39. He is from Newfoundland. You can tell that by his accent, but he currently resides in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I'll have a little bit more on their accomplishments and their resumes in just a moment. Uh, but first, before we get to talking with them, our friends at Magic Darts Incorporated have a great deal going on with their great Colonial line. And it's going to be 10% off the entire line at purchase using the promo code COLONIAL10. And for more on that, here's a quick message from our friends at Magic Darts. You just visit a to zdarts.com and you can check out their colonial line of boards and the Raven barrels 10% off using the promo code colonial10. So we are about to see Sean Brenneman and Kylie Edmonds. In fact, there they are live and in person. Gentlemen, it is always a pleasure to see you both. Uh, obviously, Kylie, you're in the driver's seat. So I'm going to turn to Sean right now. Sean, a lot on the line tonight. How are you feeling coming into tonight's match, knowing that? For lack of a better term, your back is up against the wall. 
Yeah, absolutely, Colin. So the last week I've played a lot of online darts, practiced a lot, kind of try to find my groove, I guess, sort of speak. And we'll see what happens tonight, but I'm feeling good. And I've already promised my Facebook fans and friends out there that it's going to be a night to remember. So let's see what happens. A night to remember. So that sounds like a little bit of trash talk, perhaps. I like how he looked to his, uh, I guess that would be, uh, you're right, which happens to be where Kylie Edmonds is. And Kylie, looking relaxed. Looks like you're, you almost have your head relaxed against the board. Calm, cool, and collected. Kylie, how are you feeling tonight knowing destiny is in your own hands? Oh, no better way to have it, really. It's on me, so that, that helps me. It's, it's better in my hands than somebody else's. That is so fair, and I love it because every interview with Kylie Edmonds is a is short and sweet and to the point. Uh, and with that, you know what? I'm going to let you guys get at it. Uh, Sean won the bowl, and will lead. Kylie is hosting on Dark Connect, and of course, we want to thank our friends at Dark Connect. So, gentlemen, if you want to uh, go out there, throw a couple of quick darts to get uh, reacclimated with the board you know so well, and a reminder that there will be a break after the seventh leg. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Kylie Edmonds tonight with a win will eliminate Sean Brenneman and will eliminate, if I'm not mistaken, Kerry Way uh, and Ross Snook needs to win out and help uh, or needs some help in order to advance. But uh, with that, we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll get more into that as we go along. Again, it is a race to eight, best of 14 in the event. It is a 7-7 tie, so be it. Two points are on the line. If there is a 7-7 tie, each of these fine athletes will get one point apiece. Gentlemen, are you ready? I'm going to take that as a yes. Silence is deafening. We're ready to get this thing underway. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you at home for being part of this. We are one of the only outlets in the world that is providing live sports. Yep. Good luck, good luck my friend. All right, buddy. Good games. Go on, Kylie. I always, I always forget uh, to allow them to uh, say good game to each other. It's one of those weird caveats that I'm just not uh, used to. So the game is on back-to-back -to -back tons from Sean and Kylie. And I meant to say it raised to eight legs. But in the event, there is a 7-7 seven, seven tie. You know the rest. Yada, yada, yada. So now things are starting to heat up. Week six looks to be unbelievable, especially in the U.S. division. So much is still up in the air. There's a nice 99 out of Sean Brenneman. What you saw last night out of Cheney and Puglio, a phenomenal match. Did not go the full distance. Uh, actually, no, it did. Wait a minute. I'm doing the math in my head. Just to show you where I'm at, I've got the old quarantine brain. That's what we're going to call it. But anyway, it was an A6 victory for Chuck Puglio eliminating Chainsaw. And now Joe Chaney has the opportunity to play spoiler moving on. And you know what? I think he would play that role very, very well, especially with that diabolical beard. There's a 97 out of... Kylie Edmonds, Sean Brenneman now not down to an out. I always go for the bull. He said he was going for the bull. And again, one of these beautiful things about the production here in this live stream dart setup is you get to hear your dart players. You get to hear them in action, reacting in real time. Sean desperately wanted that treble 18, did not get it, but still leaves himself down to a 40. 144 out for Kylie Edmonds. He's not going to hit it. Maybe Sean knew he didn't have to throw the best darts there because uh, Kylie was not throwing his best darts yet. Kylie is one of those kind of Studebaker players. You just got to crank the engine a little bit and just get that pop, 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 pop until it's set going, and then there's no stopping him. Oh, trying to walk it in, Sean Brenneman. Does not do it. Now Kylie Edmund. Double bowl. How about a one instead? Back and out. you heard the sigh of exasperation. 
Redman gets it on the first dart. And so with a 68 average, Sean Brenneman takes leg one. Once again, Sean Brenneman's back is up against the wall, as is true for Ross Nook and Kerry Way. The Canadian playoff picture really coming into focus. Jim Long, Matt Campbell, Kylie Edmonds, and Kiefer Durham basically in control of their own destiny. Sean Brenneman, Ross Nook, and Kerry Way all need to win out and pray for some help. Thank goodness for third darts. Thank goodness for third darts indeed, Sean Brenneman. That was a beautiful cover shot. He can't hear me, and that's probably for the best. There's a ton from Kylie Edmonds. Sean was able to hold throw on that first leg. Desperately, direly needed that. Oh, look at this. Kylie Edmonds. Looked a lot prettier than it turned out. Sean Brunneman with that unfortunate triple one. And a couple of fat 20s, the old 43, as they say over in jolly old Ireland. Now Kylie Edmonds. Oh, look at this. Yeah, shot, Kylie. And that's a 180, Anthony Eugenia. I'm going to stop calling him out every time I do it. I'm just going to do his call anyway. But now, Sean Brenneman. Something would see one play one almost. Oh, look at this. Sean Brenneman, so talkative tonight, knowing his back's against the wall. Ton 40. And the second Shot, dart does it for Kylie Edmonds. My goodness. A torrid pace. What a phenomenal round. I'm sure there's a little bit of lag here, but there is just a frenetic pace in these darts. I can barely keep up. Sean Brenneman now opening with a ton. Both of these gentlemen holding throw, the opposite of what we've seen so many times during these streams. And again, the scoring brought to you by Dart Connect, the best in the business, hands down. No more chalk on your fingers, no more... You know, erasable marker, uh, you know, none of that mess on your hands, none of that math in your brain, none of that. Dark Connect takes care of it all. Oh, and a ton 40 out of Brenneman. So, Sean Brenneman now shooting a 113 average. Kylie opening with that ton 80, our first maximum, or second maximum, I should say. So many things going on. It's hard to be the play by play guy and the color commentator. Sean Brenneman looking to take out that perfect out and just miss the double bull. Now, Edmonds looking for a gorgeous out and is not going to be able to do it. Brenneman just missing that double bull. 25 left goes the traditional route nine double eight thank you victor very well aware of it just announced it myself well aware of the fact that i've got eighteen thousand things going on and missed his opening ton 80 don't worry i'll get there eventually much like kylie edmonds darts it it just takes a little bit of uh, warming up but i appreciate the commentary nonetheless and yes i am paying attention to everything going on around me all at once not easy for a man who gets very easily sidetracked. Speaking of which, Sean Brenneman wants to sidetrack his way over the double four. Does not get it. Kylie Edmonds now. A 20 double top to a hold throw. Disappointment by Kylie Sean Brenneman. Looking to hold throw. Looking to walk it in. Good marker. Oh, got to drop downstairs to about 5.30 and does not get it. He is left with the old nut house. Throw on the clown makeup. Let's go. Kylie Edmonds now. That looks south. It is indeed. That looks west. And that looks northwest. So now, Sean Brenneman, oh, wow. double Here one. Here we go. Yeah, we saw the first start high, Kylie. I do not need a color commentator. I've got it in Sean Brenneman tonight. Walking it in. 
Second dart was supposed to be in there. Second dart was supposed to be in there. I agree, Sean, but it wasn't. So we move on to Kylie Edmonds now. Double five. First dart. Go on. The disappointment in both voices. Amazing. Kylie Edmonds gets that dart and makes it two to one. So there's your first break of the night. It belongs to Kylie Edmonds, who subsequently follows up with a 59. Not what he wanted at all. Sean Brenneman looking. Oh, my goodness. He's dancing above the border. I guess somebody built a wall. There's 59, so we're tied at the end of the first six darts. This is our fourth leg at the seventh leg. We will, in fact, have a break no matter the score. Which I'm supposed to say if it's 7 nothing, which is not going to be anymore. So just sweep that one under the uh, rug as well. Sean Brenneman after two rounds down to 401. Ay, ay, ay. Sean Brenneman with his back against the wall. Edmonds with a ton right there. Yes, we know, Kylie. You do not have to tap the trip 20. There's a ton 40 from Sean Brenneman, though. That certainly helps. Doesn't stop the bleeding. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate the kind words after calling me out for missing the ton 80. That is a wonderful retribution. I appreciate that. And now back to the darts. There's an 85 from Brenneman. A brief lead in score. Kylie Edmonds with a paltry 60 there. Looked like he was about to go into the driver's seat and into cruise control. Meanwhile, Sean Brenneman needs a huge round. A triple five is not going to do it. A single 20 is not going to do it. There's a trip 20 he wanted and needed, though. And a nice 95 leaves him 81. One of my favorite outs when I was okay at darts. <laughs> Those were the days. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like a 54, and it was indeed Sean Brenneman now. 62. He's going for that bullseye all day. And the single gets him once again. We've got one hell of a crowd out there tonight watching. Third dart. Great to see you all. And the third dart falls Black in for Kylie yeah. Edmonds. Now Black up guy. three to one. Sean Brenneman, the story of his entire CDC Championship League existence. Just missing those doubles when he needs them. But look at this. That's a 140, though. Not too shabby. But as we know, it trebles for show. I mean, man, uh, devil's uh, for uh, dough. Time from Kylie Edmonds. A little bit of pressure off of him. Oh, look at Sean Brenneman again. Looks like it might be, and it is. That's a 180 for Sean Brenneman. Fantastic darts just when he needs them. Wait, but thanks. At the rate we're going, we'll be done at 840. And it could be 7-7. We don't even know. Maybe the adrenaline pumping through Sean Brenneman's veins right there. Still phenomenal darts. Oh, and a bounce out from Kylie Edmonds. I haven't seen many bounce outs. Actually, I saw the bulk of them last night from Chuck Puglio, and he still came away with a win. There's a ton from Brenneman, knowing there's no, read to, uh, no need to rush it. Edmonds not down to an out. Oh, Brenneman, a double one. He needed that. He needed that about five minutes ago. And gets it with That's the third feels dark. Like. Wow. I mean, it's the second time you've done it, Sean, so you definitely know what it feels like, but it's been a while, so I appreciate that. Well done, nonetheless. Three to two now.
There's a 60 out of Kylie. Brenneman has found the treble 20. Come on. And Get is there. decimating it. Gets the 180. Sean Brenneman is pounding the treble 20 like it's the doubles he's been missing all season. Kylie Edmonds. Not bad, but not what Brenneman's doing to the treble 20. Oh, my goodness. No way. Come on. Oh, Thomas, come, my on fans Sean game. Come, come on, Sean Brenneman. Come on, Sean Brenneman. Six perfect yards, Sean Brenneman. Not now, but right now. We are all pulling for you. Come on, Sean. Tell about the first start from here. You just got to get the first one, the triple 20. We know, Sean. Just shoot it. And then from there, it's easy, actually. There it is. Come on, Sean. Oh. There it is, Sean. Come on. Whew. This is the Take toughest one of all three of those shots. Take, so then we need a double 12 we know. here. Kylie, you need a double 12. What do you want to see, Kylie? Come on. Go for it, buddy. Want to see a double 12? Match. Come on. All right, here we go. Double 12 just for Kylie. Come on! Sean Brennan! Sean Brennan has done it! <laughs> Wait, sure. Sean Brennan with a non-daughter! The first yeah. in CDC history, and it happens virtually! A non-daughter out of Sean Brennan! And he has, back well, tough up until dude, then, he had 10 man. perfect darts. Kudos to you, Sean. Win or lose, you have gone down in CDC history. The first nine darter in the championship dart circuit. I retire tonight. Have a good night, everyone. Just kidding, I am back. Sean Brenneman, absolutely outstanding. Took the time, built the drama, hit the double 12. The traditional route, unbelievable. Unbelievable. The first nine darter I have ever been able to call as a broadcaster in darts. And Sean Brenneman, not only are you a part of CDC history, you're a part of my history. Kudos to you, sir. Kudos to you. You all at home just witnessed history. Yeah, that means. Outstanding. Also, we're not at three, and at the end of this leg, we're going to take a break, and Lord knows I'm going to need it. Sure could use a cardiologist at the end of this. Little Richard Ashdown, I got to tell you, I was not prepared for it. Otherwise, I would have absolutely nailed that call. But that's why you're the professional and I'm just an up-and-comer. Sean Brenneman now to take a 4-3 lead into the break. Seemingly unflappable. Sean Brenneman takes the 4-3 lead, knowing his back is up against the wall with a 9-darter and then shoots. A gorgeous 14-darter. Absolutely diabolical. Gentlemen, go take a break. Use the bathroom, take a drink, whatever it is you need to do. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, history has been made, and I cannot wrap my head around it. Oh, man. Well, in the meantime, it is time for everyone to uh, go have a nice cool drink, grab yourself some popcorn. We have a lot of darts left. Once again, Sean Brenneman made history. Nine darts in the sixth leg. And in the seventh leg, takes a four to three lead. We'll be right back after these messages from Magic Darts Incorporated. Woo!
And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Colonial line designed by Magic Darts of boards and barrels, the Viper line, 10% off through May 31st. This league will be long since done. A champion will be crowned, but the promo will be going on. Just use the promo code COLONIAL10 at www.adazdarts.com. Also, they have so much more than darts. But uh, tonight, there is nothing more than darts going on. We just witnessed our first nine darter in the history of the championship dart circuit. Be it live in any of our tour stops or virtually here during a pandemic, Sean Brenneman is the first in CDC history to knock down a nine darter. And my oh my was it dramatic, providing his own color commentary throughout the entire, like he didn't need me at all. From st step one to step two, the ton 80 to ton 80, telling us exactly how it's done as if we didn't know, but boy did he show us the way, took his time, highly rooted him on, and he knocked it down. Phenomenal job, gentlemen. You will have six more darts to get warmed up and back into it, not that you need it. Of course, Sean, with the wins in the sixth and seventh legs, now has a four to three lead. The man has his back up against the wall. He knows it and has been playing like it. And just to let you all know, in the coming weeks, ladies and gentlemen, we will be having some contests for the people watching at home, our live streams next week on the Magic Darts outlets on Facebook and on YouTube. We will have signed sets of darts by PDC players of their signature darts courtesy of Magic Darts Incorporated. So get ready for that. That is coming up. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is game on a race to eight or seven, seven. We do not know how that's going to turn out. All we know is Sean Brenneman is in the lead. So gentlemen, game on. Go on. Go on, Kylie. Kylie Edmonds to lead off. First dart's perfect. Second dart a little southeast. Second dart or rather third dart, is indeed a ton 40. Kylie Edmonds takes the break to reassess Sean Brenneman, pounding that triple 20 again. Oh, that's a ton 40. I'm still trying to catch my breath, ladies and gentlemen. So glad you were all here to witness history. And if you weren't, well, it'll be one of those where were you moments. Be ashamed of yourselves. Kylie now with what looks like a ton. It is indeed. Sean Brenneman now just a little bit south of the treble. Looks like a 60. And it is indeed. So Kylie Edmonds now. Amazing to think that Sean had the perfect nine dart out in the sixth leg and is still sporting just an 87 average. Good enough. Disappointed in what I believe was his second dart. And indeed he was. Sean Bretman now down to 28. Sean is playing like a man possessed. Come on. And there it is, Sean Brenneman. That first start, no need to tip it, we know. Where has this Sean Brenneman been all season? Now up 5-3. Three legs away from a win and clinging on to hope that he can make the playoffs. Kylie Edmonds pretty much in the driver's seat. A loss tonight will not destroy his playoff chances. But a win tonight certainly would not hurt. There's a ton from Brenneman who's just been dancing around that treble 20. When he's been on it, he's been all over it, assaulting it. So Kylie, after a poor start here in the ninth leg.
Brenneman, disappointed. Not as talkative as he was when he hit that nine darter. On our stat sheet provided by Chuck Schick, the best leg in competition by Sean Brenneman. He hit a nine darter twice. Well, guess what? Update your stats, ladies and gentlemen. Make that thrice. Sean Brenneman now down to ton 60. What a beautiful way to take out the ninth leg if he can, and he will not. That is a one. Great cover shot on that third dart, though. 82, one of my favorite outs when I could hit it. 82s and 81s. It was weird with me, but I'm also not that good. There's a double ball, double 16. Come on. Oh, the Gosh, showboat show. carries on. on. Sean Brenneman, SB, now showboat Sean Brenneman. Absolutely brilliant darts we're seeing out of him. I know his nickname is The Man. But he has been the Sean Brenneman showboat. Tremendous darts. Kylie Edmonds still giving it his all. Look at this. Oh, just south. Now I have to stop every time Sean opens with a treble 20. Eighty-one out of Kylie Edmonds. Richard Ashdown providing some very interesting insight with his uh, with Sean's windmill blade five board. Nice ton from Sean. The way he has it turned, he actually finished his nine darter with a double three, and hilarity ensues. And yes, Pat Gallagher, I may or may not have lost my mind over Sean's nine darter. You should have been there. You should have been live. Yep. And breakfast is to have one of those the ones man who holds the only nine darter in CDC history. Just to goes to show it can happen to anyone. Kylie Edmonds now. A big ton 40, though. Shot, Kylie. Sean, very vocal tonight. The most vocal he's been all season. Come on. That's the one. Next one. And a 105, brilliant third dart from Sean Brunman. Goes to show you need to know your outs, know your math, kids. And they said math would mean nothing when you're a child. Come on now. Kylie Edmonds, 60, leaves him 40. Sean Brenneman, can he cap off a nine darter with a perfect 170 out? And no, I didn't even get a chance to finish my sentence before he proved me wrong. 81 leaves him 89. Kylie Edmonds wastes no time at all. Knocks down that double 20, makes it six to four. Oh. Still trying to catch my breath, folks. Still trying to catch my breath. 16 darter out of Kylie Edmonds to hold throw. Now Sean Brenneman in complete control now, just needs to hold throw to win out the night and hold on to hold for the playoffs. And yes, a beautiful round out of Kylie Edmonds. Sorry, trying to figure it out there. It's on 34 indeed now. Sean. Come on. Oh, Sean Brenneman. That's a ton 80 out of Sean Brenneman. And there's another ton 34 out of Kylie Edmonds. Woo! This is the way it's meant to be, folks. Sean Brenneman, ton 40 through. The first couple rounds, that'll drop him down a little bit. Kylie Edmonds with Chun 34 through the first couple rounds. Was pounding that trouble 19, completely lost it there. But he's going to be just fine. Yes, Bob Hamilton, you missed a nine darter, really. And a 60 from Sean Brenneman. Kylie Edmonds, ton 70 out. What do you say? can tell he's sizing it up. There's that first one, perfect. There's that second one, perfect. There's the third one, just southeast of the target. Whew. 
Now Sean Brenneman, 78. Does he go fat 18? No, oh, he was going triple 18. He's taking no chances tonight. He wants to show what he's made of. Second dart, way off the mark. That is a 38 indeed. Yep, there you go. Now Kylie Edmonds. Double 12. The last time we saw one was in a nine darter in Sean Brenneman's hands, but now it's in the hands of Kylie Edmonds who breaks Sean Brenneman and will lead off our 12th leg down 6-5. Sean Brenneman needs to break. Kylie Edmonds needs a ton 80. Oh, but a ton 40, not too shabby coming from this veritable neophyte over here. Now Sean Brenneman. The treble 20 that once was his best friend is now suddenly evading him completely like he's got garlic breath. 43 scored. Kylie Edmonds now. With a 41. I built up the drama for nothing, but that's okay. Sean Brenneman here to build it back up. Finds a treble 20 again and again. And a ton 40. No harm, no foul. Essentially a tie after six darts. And that looks like a 96 indeed for Kylie Edmonds. So now he's just sizing up the out he wants. Sean Brenneman really needed a big round there. Perhaps Brenneman running out of gas. Perhaps Kylie sensing that and ready to strike. Oh, that first start perfect. Second one just fine. Third one as well. Ton 20 left. Climb that ladder. That would be the old Shanghai style for Kylie to notch this at six. A ton 40 would be so big for Brunneman. Instead of 98, leaves him ton four or a ton 60, rather. Not too shabby. Kylie Edmonds climb that ladder. First start. Oh, the triple five does not help. Neither does that single one on the third. Curious. Curious indeed. Sean Brenneman, ton 60, needs this desperately. He is not going to get it. Oh, just outside the bowl on the third dart. 51 leaves him one, or 60 rather, leaves him 110. Kylie Edmonds now to notch it. Beautiful first dart. And there it is on the second. Kylie Edmonds seemed dead to rights as Sean Brenneman was en fuego para Espanol on fire. And now we are notched at six. Will it be a 7-7 tie or will it be a Brenneman or Edmonds victory? Two legs remain. This is entirely up to them. I don't care if you're on your recliner, in bed, on your couch. If you love the bar, the, the dart, stand up. What's wrong with you? Stand up. Once again, as all these matches are, it is a race to eight to get the two points necessary. If not, it would be a 7-7 seven, seven tie, and each player would get one point apiece. That is not what Sean Brenneman needs right now. He needs a win desperately. He was playing like it before. A beautiful round there out of Kylie Edmonds. Sean, not as consistent in the treble 20 as he was before. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us for what has been an outstanding match. If you're just joining us, you missed history. Sean Brenneman with the first nine darter in the entire history of the CDC. And it was done virtually. Never thought I'd see it that way. Thought I'd see it live. But now the playoff... Picture is starting to come into focus. Brenneman could really use another one of those ton 80s right now. Ton 40, not too bad. A bit of pressure on Kylie Edmonds, but Edmonds down to a two dart out. Oh. Third 
35, leaves him 48. Sean Brenneman now, one, two, four out. Does he have it in him? Still can do it. Oh, double ball. Deep breath. Do it, he says. Oh, and do it, he does not. Just outside the wire, Sean Brenneman's playoff hopes hanging. In Kylie Edmonds darts right there. He's going, wow. <laughs> With a little bit of a laugh, the double eight. Not sure if that was intentional. But now Sean Brenneman hoping to stay alive. Double eight. Come on. There it is. Sean Brenneman one leg away from clinging on to his playoff hopes. His heartbeat barely there. The pulse is fading, but he controls his own destiny and needs the win here, needs to break. So a 60 from Kylie Edmonds. Not what he was hoping for, Sean Brenneman. With the ton. Kylie, first dart, perfect. Second dart, not so much. Third dart, gorgeous. Ton 40 from Edmonds, down to 301. Traditional settings in small dart leagues around the country, that would be double in, double out, but that's not the case here. Oh, Sean Brenneman with what could be a costly 60 there if Edmonds is able to capitalize. Oh, Edmonds, when he drops down to that 19, there is no stopping him. One, three, four from Edmonds, now down to an out, a maximum necessary from Brenneman. Oh, just misses it. Ton 40 for Brenneman. Kylie Edmonds to end the match in a tie. Triple 19. Oh, does not get it. So he will have another shot at it. Sean Brenneman down to 201. What do you say about a ton 40? Oh, leave yourself an out. That's right. You go downstairs right to that bullseye, Sean Brenneman. Right on cue, gorgeous. 71 left. Kylie Edmonds, oh, look at this. Oh, and there it is. Kylie Edmonds takes out the 68, and we end in a 7-7 tie. Two games, but a nice nine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I surprised myself there for a little while. Oh, fuck You know what? Oh. I'll tell you what, though, uh, doesn't surprise me at all. That, by the way, Sean, not sure if you're aware of it, you made history in the history of the championship dart circuit. That is the first nine darter thrown in what would be our sixth year on tour. So wow. congratulations. The third one of your yeah, career, yeah. but this one. I want to interrupt Colin because I think I had the very first nine dart on Dart Connect. The very first nine darter on dark connect versus jeff smith uh back in virginia beach so you know what i'm i like this ride dark connect you know what i i believe i i came up with a new nickname tonight for you because sean brenneman is sb and your new nickname is showboat brenneman i think it's uh no <laughs> longer the man it is showboat brenneman and you know what it's only uh, fitting that you cut me off there because while i was trying to build up the drama on your nine darter you were talking the whole way through it what what was that? Was that kind of a comfort mechanism for you, or was that uh, just saying, you know what, what have I got to lose? It, it's part of a focus effort to say, I know what I need, and I'm going to focus everything I've got in hitting it. And and I'm thinking back to that Virginia Beach nine dart against Jeff Smith. I used to walk back and forth across the line, and against Jeff, I walked like 20 feet down on the triple 20, 20 feet down on the triple 19, 20 feet down on the double 12, hit them all. And, and now I'm in a small space at home. So now it's kind of just, you know what you need to do and do it. And you did it and you talked your way through it and it was thoroughly impressive. And what's really funny is, you know, we, we had a good showing here on the uh, Facebook stream, which is where I'm watching everyone's comments. And then all of a sudden you hit the nine darter and wow, suddenly another hundred people plus showed up. Um, <laughs> so great job on that. Uh, it, it looks like this is going to be the uh, the end of your 
your hopes for the playoffs. Um, but yeah. one hell of a way to go out. And um, and we really appreciate everything you've done, Sean. You've been a, a tremendous member of this uh, this league uh, virtually. And you uh, you definitely you put everything together. You were there from week one, and we really appreciate it. Do you have anything uh, for your fans out there on the live stream? Absolutely. I'll just say uh, all the best to Kylie. He played great. All the best to the other CDC Canadian players. You've got this. I know it's going to be top one, two in Canada going forward for sure. But I also want to put a thank out to all the farmers out there who are feeding people and all the essential workers who are making sure that things go smooth. Thank you all for your work. And thanks to the fans for watching this. Thank you. Sean Brenneman, a class act as always. Congratulations, sir. You're a part of history. Thank you for the nine darter and for me having no voice left. But whatever I've got left, I'm now going to use it with Kylie Edmonds. Kylie, the nine darter could have taken the wind out of your sails. Uh, you came screaming back. Walk us through that. Uh, I've never faced a nine darter. Many people out there have not. What's it like to face one and then be able to turn your darts around and at least pull off a tie? Uh, it's not so bad when you don't see it really. So it's on the stream. I just got pissed off at myself for a little bit. That's why I kind of picked it up. I couldn't keep up for, I think a game before the nine darter and the two games after the nine darter. I was just trying to pick away and pick away, but he just, he wouldn't stop. Then he finally slowed down a little bit and I picked up. So all kind of worked out. It was a big point for me. So I'm, good, I'm glad with that. What you can see right now is Sean Brenneman grimacing, so the words are hurting much more than seeing the nine darter hit the board. But uh, right now you are in full control of your playoff destiny. Taking a look at the, the forthcoming schedule, it doesn't get much easier as the Canadian uh, division starts to fall into place. Up next, you've got Kerry Way. Kerry has officially, uh, I believe, been eliminated as of tonight. Um, that gives you a chance to really catapult yourself uh, but knowing that uh, Kylie could, or rather, Kerry could come in there as spoiler, how do you prepare for that match? Uh, a little easier, actually, because it's just between me and him. So I don't have to go through all the, the live TV. So it was a lot easier for me. That actually brings up a very good point. How difficult, how, how difficult has it been doing these live streams, uh, you know, uh, as, as opposed to having people sitting around you? It's not difficult. It's more, it just kind of knocks you out of your routine. There's like a dozen things to do, right, before you get going. And when you do, you, you kind of wait around and shoot a few darts. But yeah, it is what it is. It's, it's darts at home, so it's better than nothing, right? That is true. It's automatic home field advantage for all players involved. And for everyone who's watching right now, just so you know, uh, every single dart player you've seen on the stream has been a part of the production staff. They are there for hours at a time setting up their cameras and their lights. And for that, we really appreciate it on behalf of LD, but I read Kevin Malenfant and everyone watching at home. You guys really make it look seamless, and it has been a tremendous job by you. Um, so, gentlemen, thank you so much for an outstanding showing, an outstanding tie. And, uh, Sean, thank you for making history. Kylie Edmonds, we're looking forward to seeing what you've got left as we approach the playoffs. Uh, it's a couple weeks away, and uh, – and Kylie, just with the playoffs in mind, uh, how are you going to prepare for that, uh, knowing that if you do make it to that final, you're going to probably make it to the final four, um, you're going to be back on the live stream. Is that going to put more pressure on you again? Uh, nope, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm fine with it. I haven't shot great in this full tournament so far, so I got a couple good games in me out. So we'll go well, and see as what happens. The as, as the, uh, the great Frank Sinatra once said, the best is yet to come, and babe, you'll be fine. So thank you so much, Kylie Edmonds. Thank you, Sean Brenneman, and thank you, everyone at home. I will let you guys get back to your own devices. Thank you for a historic night and a tremendous match. What an unbelievable time. I can't believe I still have a voice. I can't believe my brain hasn't melted through my ears, but alas, here we are. And I'd like to thank all of you at home for tuning in and to echo what Sean Brenneman said, Thank you to all the first responders, those who are on the front lines, healthcare workers, teachers, everyone whose lives have been turned upside down. Thank you to the farmers and everyone. It is just, you, you guys are doing an unbelievable job and we're just trying to provide entertainment. Uh, so thank you to everyone and to everyone who tuned in. We are able to bring you live sporting events during these strange times and we are proud of it. And we hope to see you again next week as on Tuesday, we have a powerhouse matchup. If you thought this one was good, 
This one could be one for the ages. Jim Long and Matt Campbell. It is a prospective Canadian championship. We do not know. We do not know. Could be one of those men going for the ultimate championship against whatever American makes it. Uh, as always, all matches begin at 8 p.m. Eastern. And another quick reminder to check out the Colonial line from Magic Darts Incorporated. Visit a to Z darts.com. Check out their line of Viper darts and their Colonial boards, and you'll receive 10% off their Colonial line of darts and dart boards through the end of the month, 531-2020, using the promo code COLONIAL10. And also a huge thank you to Dart Connect for simply being awesome. All of our sponsors, all our supporters, we love you all. And uh, that is going to do it. So this broadcast was brought to you by USA Dart uh, Productions, courtesy of Kevin Malenfant and super producer L. David Irie. Special thanks to Chuck Schick and David Far Garfinkel for Stats and Info. We could not do this without you. On behalf of Sean, Kylie, our amazing crew working behind the scenes in the championship dart circuit, I'm Colin Cosell saying stay home, stay safe, take care of one another, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Woo!